Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Homegrown terrorists. Been hearing a lot about that lately. Of course, when I hear homegrown terrorists, I think about those two yahoos who bombed the Boston Marathon, or Major Hassan, who assassinated American soldiers. And I say to myself, good, get after those low-life murderers. Bust up their groups, take them down. <laughs> but then I take a look at the people in the federal government who are talking about homegrown terrorists and realize that, whoa, they might be talking about me. To the liberal left, the real threat is Americans who believe radical things like the government should obey the law, that every citizen should work for a living and contribute to the USA, not be a parasite. I'm so radical I believe that Congress should not be allowed to spend more money than they take in. I'm so radical I believe that a nation $17 trillion in debt should not be given billions of dollars to nations that don't need it and often use it to undermine us. Unfortunately, many in the federal government are more threatened by American values than they are by Islamic fascists. When our government officials are afraid of American soldiers returning from combat, I have to wonder what those government officials have been doing. What would make those returning veterans a threat to the current administration? Well, how many of those veterans had friends killed and maimed to give freedom to the people of Iraq, and now after all the blood, sweat, and tears, a callous, uncaring, politically motivated president has literally sabotaged all the hard-won victories and allowed Iraq to fall? How many mothers and fathers and spouses and children of those fallen soldiers and Marines see their loss and sacrifice trampled by the liberal Democrats and treated as if it is unimportant? I think the current crop of Washington, D.C. politicians are so deep into breaking the law and betraying their own nation that they are scared to death of Americans who have taken an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution. Maybe that tells us who the real villains are. Homegrown terrorists, that's how the Obama minions are labeling Tea Party groups, Christian churches, combat veterans. They're trying to train law enforcement agencies to take on these homegrown terrorists, but guess what? Most of those law enforcement officers believe the same way I do. There is no doubt at all that if the founding fathers of this nation were here today, they would be leading the Tea Party charge to rid America of Washington, D.C. scoundrels. Well, here's a message to Tea Party Americans. When I think about George Washington and the founders, we are not nearly angry enough. And the fear that the Washington weasels are feeling is probably because they have done things that we have not yet discovered. This is Wild Bill for America saying, be strong, stay alert, and when the day comes for you to uphold your oath, stand your ground. Be an American. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again. Thank <laughs> you.